Welcome back to the channel. This is R.L. Poole, your fearless reporter and UFO abductee, coming to you again with UFOs Found on Google Earth 2024 edition. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, just wanted to do something a little bit fun today. Um, and I had some cool stuff to show you. Um, it, so Google Earth course people have found a lot of cool stuff on there um, you know going like uh, this is from Australia I think in 2017 um, and if you go back and you and you check it now like of course there's like nothing there but in back in 2017 somebody captured this now there's always an explanation for all of these as far as other people are concerned there's always something um, that is supposedly, you know, that explains it all. Um, but there are some very interesting things to see on there. And I have actually found some, some stuff. Uh, this is some other people's, uh, finds. This is, uh, that was the, this is the Arctic circle. Somebody found this. This is from the Bahamas. <laughs> hey, look who we got here. Look who we got. This is my guy. This is my guy. This is Laszlo. Say hi, Laszlo. Yeah. Rock the... <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. He's new. He's so cute. No, no, no. <laughs> come here, come here, come here. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, having technical difficulties. Um, but anyway, uh, we have these uh, different ones. Uh, this one uh, is from the Bahamas. Um, this one, uh, the next one, and that's from that was from Google Earth Street View. This is uh, this was actually taken, I think, this year in Santa Barbara, California, uh, approximately a thirty meter uh, diameter object. Um, this was something curious that they found in, uh, I think this was in Antarctica as well. And, uh, so we have all of these different unique little finds that people have. And I wanted to make my little contribution and talk about some of the things that I discovered while being bored for a whole night on Google Earth. And, uh, so the first one, I uh, you know, tell me what you think, but this to me looks like it could possibly be a crashed UFO. Um, first of all, everything's lit up. You see how it's lit up that weird reddish color. I don't know what that's about, but there seems to be pieces of it. And it even seems to be lit underwater which doesn't make sense to me. But when you look at it close, it, that's what it looks like. It looks like it's glowing, like something uh, perhaps dish-shaped that was, you know, partially stuck, that maybe hit these rocks and broke up into the water. Now, I'm not saying that that's actually true, but I find this to be very anomalous. Uh this is another just anomalous, weird thing I found. Just a long shape, long cigar shape. Uh, what looks like to have been pressed into the snow. And look how it lines up with the lines of latitude and longitude. This one is some kind of glowing object that I just happened to see while I was uh, perusing Google Earth. Um, let's see. And then this one, this one's really strange too. It's just a, like a green, another green cigar shaped object about the same proportion as the one, uh, that I showed you just previous to that. Um, And it's just strange to have all of these different objects or shapes 
what have you in Antarctica it, it, every time I watch a video so it always comes back to somewhere in Antarctica Antarctica so I just decided to just scour Antarctica and uh, I found a lot of these anomalous things that I'm, I'm not saying that they are UFOs or anything I'm just saying they're highly unusual it's very anomalous okay now with that being said some of these things are quite compelling I mean the fact that if you look at this uh, the cigar shaped uh, green object well you can see that it is the relative size and shape of the other one I showed you so that's unusual um, and it correlates you know so these are why I think these things are worth mentioning is you find some tie-in for them you know it's important um, now this this is different this is in the Gobi Desert in China and this is a base some kind of air base that has really unusual markings on the runway uh, and these markings are actually mimicked out in the desert out beside the runway the same uh, you know uh, it has a a circular landing pad right in the middle there uh, it's just so unusual you know and it's got these weird humanoid or I you know I actually have another theory um, but if you want to determine how big the size of this thing is is that the FAA says that uh, a six stripe runway is 75 feet wide so using these official statistics uh, you can very easily use that as a measurement for gauging the size of the uh, circular landing pad there because it looks enormous but I had to find a way to measure and then once I did I realized that that circle is 17,000 square feet uh, that is uh, a small neighborhood that I once lived in and by comparison that small neighborhood would fit inside that circle that's how big that is so this base with these odd symbols has a landing pad that can hold something circular about the size of a small neighborhood I just think don't you think that's interesting I think it's interesting um, so uh, but I have a I believe that this symbol this this strange symbol off to the side here on both sides uh, actually is maybe some type of hieroglyphic and I want to break that down for you right now and do you tell me what you think I don't know I'm just I'm spitballing here but this to me looks like a hieroglyphic that you don't need to be able to uh, have a common language even if you don't speak the same language you can both understand this symbol and I think that this symbol has three parts and I'm gonna break them down for you here real quick one is I believe that this is highlighting hey UFO craft okay I believe that is one part of it right there that this is showing a UFO craft okay that is brighter than everything else and it's then it's showing a retractable landing pad that what there what's in the center is a retractable landing pad you notice how these are these have legs that are folded down to me this denotes being retractable so it's saying the UFO land on top of the retractable landing pad um, and the reason that you would do that is because it is charging accessible here come here buddy I know come here no 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 baby no, you gotta get down sweet <laughs> he doesn't want me to work um, but what it's saying is is that hey this is a charging acceptable station 
Uh, so UFO land on the on the pad, take the retractable landing pad down underground, and you can recharge your craft. Uh, I mean, I don't know. That's what I think. You tell me what you think. All right. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for putting up with Laszlo. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. This video is brought to you by Beneath the Haunted Sky, the evidence for alien abduction, the recent number one bestseller in UFOs and astronomy. Available only on Amazon. Thank you.